You sure you don't want anything to eat? I can order in. I'm not very hungry. Thanks, though. All right. Some coffee? Tea? No, thanks. I have, um, whiskey. I'm fine, Damien. Really. All right. So, what do you think? I think you shouldn't believe a word of what that man told you. He was trying to get inside your head. There's no proof that anything's happened to Reza. I hope you're right. If I've come this far and it turns out Reza's... Stop it. There's nothing to be gained from imagining the worst. He must be very important to you. Reza, I mean. He is. Reza was my best friend for so long, and I was totally in love with him. When that feeling went away... I don't love him any less, but it's different now. I don't know what's going on with me. I've just... I've lost faith. Not just in him, in everything. School, my friends, my hobbies, my future. Reza. Nothing seems to matter that much anymore. And that's why, when Reza went missing, I knew I had to go after him. Not just because he's my friend, and not just because I love him. But because if I didn't, then who would I be? What would I be? I may not like the Zoe I'm turning into, but I would have hated the Zoe who just abandoned her best friend like that. So, yes, he's very important to me. Of course. And right now, more than anything in the world, I want him to be okay. So, uh, that man? The one in the garden. He acted like he's behind the whole thing. Like he controls Wattie Corp. I've heard rumours, but I've never actually believed. I think his name is Alvin Peets. Peets? The guy who founded Wattie? He'd be several hundred years old, but uh, in a way, it still makes sense. It's a sort of urban water cooler legend. Whatever happened to Alvin Peets? No one knows. But there are lots of theories. Some say they've heard he's been kept alive by machines, and that he still controls Watercorp. It's the kind of thing you have a good laugh at. He wasn't just hooked up to a machine, Damien. He looked like he was a machine. At least partly so. And he was just... Ugh, evil. Sad, pathetic and hateful. He claimed that we were stealing his senses. I think he was actually afraid of me. From what you told me earlier, it sounds like he's completely dependent on the wire. The static must be scaring the hell out of him. If he needs the wire to see and hear, he's completely lost without it. I just don't feel safe anymore. He knew who I was. He's been inside Reza's dreams. He has spies everywhere. Cameras, bots. Don't worry, Zoe. He won't find you here, I promise. I'll check around tomorrow. See if I can dig up any information on Pete's. <sighs> you must be tired. I'm keeping you up. I'm sorry. I'm just... Yeah, I am quite tired. I guess I should find a hotel and figure out what to do next. Thanks for the clothes, Damien. Oh... Hey, no, 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 there's no need to find a hotel. You can stay here. I, I mean, if you're comfortable with that. I can sleep on the floor. Oh, you really don't have to. I know, but you've been through a lot, and you're helping me out, so the least I can do is let you sleep in my bed. Um, no, um, that didn't come out right. You know what I mean. <laughs> Thanks, Damien. If you're okay with me staying here, I will. Okay, so, um, let me get the bed ready for you. That's okay. I can... Um, yeah, uh, just, um... Well, uh, I guess you can give me a hand. Okay. Yes. Great. Uh, by the way, if I'm gone when you wake up tomorrow, uh, don't be alarmed. I have to be at the office quite early. Uh, that's okay. I'll be fine. I'll just stay here. Good. Let me find you a sheet and a cover.
This is it, Apostle. The Empire's greatest achievement east of Sadir. A monument to our might and to our faith. Even in Sadir, there is nothing that can compare to this. Why was it built so tall? You're asking the wrong man. I don't question the infinite wisdom of the Six. I have absolute faith in their decisions. Of course, as do we all. Go right inside, Apostle. The Emissary is expecting you. Apostle Alvane, welcome to Mercuria. Please, join me. We are honored to have you visit us. I trust your journey was comfortable. It was, mistress. This is an impressive edifice. The construction is almost complete. We will soon celebrate the inauguration of a permanent Azadi seat in the Northlands. The Six will travel all the way from Sadir to be here for that momentous occasion. But I bore you. You already know this. So, Apostle, I understand that you have been sent here to bring the word of the Goddess to the Scorpion. I have. He's responsible for the death of many Trueborn here in the North. Indeed. And I surmise the Six no longer have faith that we will find him and kill him ourselves. I am only here to assist in your efforts, Mistress. I do not intend to challenge the authority and expertise of your commanders. I see. Well, we should be grateful that an Apostle will lend his sword to the task. These terrorists, they have become more than a nuisance. They stand in the way of technological progress and spiritual enlightenment. They are only making it worse for the people they claim to protect. After all, we wish only for these heathens to be bathed in the purifying light of the Goddess and to receive passage to Paradise. Instead, those bothersome few make life miserable for everyone. They seek liberty and democracy, but what we have given them is so much greater than that. Without us, they would not even have the city. We have given them peace, prosperity, and progress. What more could they ask for? Yes, mistress. Hmm. So where do you intend to start looking? If you wish, I can lend you the services of my men. Thank you, emissary. I will require only a few men, but not yet. I have a few leads to follow first. Just do what you must to stamp out the fire before it spreads too wide. I will have no more delays to the construction of the tower. Our schedule must be upheld, or there will be grave consequences for everyone. I will do everything in my power to bring the Scorpion to justice, Mistress. Good. You may leave me, Apostle. I will see you again soon. Commander Vamon, Apostle Alvani, what's brought you out of your sanctuary? A mission. A mission? I see. It must be quite a mission for the Council to have sent you all the way from Sadir. After all, it's not like we don't already have many fine officers and agents here in Mercuria. So, who do they want you to kill this time? Anyone I should know about? My mission is a matter of confidence between myself and the Emissary Commander. Don't insult me, Alvani. I have the Emissary's ear and our utmost confidence. We're not in Sadir. Things are done differently here. Commander. Forgive me, Mistress. Did I speak out of order? The Apostle is here at the behest of the Six. We would do well to treat him with respect. Of course. And he's most welcome to our little outpost of the Empire. He was just leaving... Thank you, Apostle. May the light of the Goddess illuminate your path. Thank you, Emissary. Commander. Apostle. 
Mistress, you sent for me. What do you make of the Salvane? You served with him in Sadir, did you not? I did, Mistress. Alvane is a brilliant swordsman and a loyal servant to the Six. Spare me your politics, Commander. We are alone. I don't trust him. He's risen through the ranks much too quickly. He has connections. Someone inside the Sixth Circle holds his hand. I believe so. His skill with the sword is... better than adequate. But his standing in the court is unprecedented for a man of his caste. Yes. He is... young, is he not? Too young. And he has no family. No blood. Ah. Now I see why you dislike him so much. My pardons, mistress. But his lineage is not all that I distrust. He has strange friends, and his virtuousness is galling. Why this sudden interest in Apostle Alvani? The Six have sent him here without consulting me, which is worrying. I wonder what this could possibly mean. Also, the Apostle appears... soft-hearted. He has never been this far from home. If he begins to empathize with these heathens... I understand. What would you have me do? I want to have him followed. Make sure he does not get... distracted from his mission. As you wish, Mistress. That is all, Commander. You may go. Thank you, Mistress. The Apostle will never stray far from my sight. I can assure you of that. with your presence. Your wave has crossed many oceans and carried our vessels far abroad. Thank you. So you know who I am? The Shadow Guy didn't. It is curious. We share a common memory and our thoughts are as one. He should have known. Maybe he was simply confused. Maybe his eyes were blinded. Maybe. That's fine. I'm here now. So this is your fabled city. It's stunning. It is one city. It never ceases to move. It flows at the will of the cosmos. At the mercy of waves and currents. You have come to see the white of the kin. Yes, that's right. Why is she here, with you? It is not for us to know the mind of the dry kin. You may ask her that question yourself. Come. She is in the library. Come. These trees reach deep underwater, probably much, much further down than they reach up. This is our library. It's enormous. It is as ancient as we are, as old as the first civilization. We have collected every word ever written. There is no other library like it. And you've only collected what others have written? We do not create, we collect. We record, and we store. It is left for others to trap words between sheets of paper. 
we do not often allow visitors into our city. But if you have a purpose here, then you are welcome. I guess I have a purpose, though I'm not sure what it is yet. The greater the purpose, the harder it is to understand and to accept. I shall go to the White of the Kin and tell her that you are here. The library is yours to peruse in the meantime. Someone's been reading. A lot. Crow? Is that really you? Hello, April. How nice to see you again. Thanks ever so much for leaving me hanging dry on that mountain path. Eight bloody years ago! How have you been? You mean for the past, oh, I don't know, eight years? I know, I'm sorry. Let's try and get past that, okay? At least for the time being. And that time just happens to be... eight years? All right, okay, fine. I'll be a good foul and pretend everything's just peachy. Thank you, Crow. So what in the name of the balance are you doing here? I'm on a journey of inner discovery. A journey of... Never mind. It's good to see you, Crow. It's been too long. Yeah, you know... No, for crying out loud! I'm... really happy to see you, too. Honestly. Who said anything about being happy to see you? I'm just relieved you're alive. And don't think I'm not angry at you, or that I've forgiven you, because I am and I haven't. I know. So what's new with... Sister, you look tired. Thanks. Nice to see you too. You've changed since the last time I saw you. That's because I have this human body. Do you like it? It's hard to miss. Why are you in human form? It's a disguise. I'm in exile. Someone hunts the kin. That's why I'm here. And why I'm wearing this skin. It's tight and uncomfortable, but it conceals me. And it makes some humans look at me with admiration. Why do you call me sister? We're bound by threads that weave through time and space. By words that create and destroy. And by kinship stronger than blood. I don't know what that means. It's been troubling me for so long. Are you saying that I'm a dragon? There were only four. And now there's only one. No. You're not dry kin, sister. Then what does it mean? I can't explain. It's not in my vocabulary to explain. And this narrow mouth can't articulate the words. We have history. But more than history connects us. I can never get a straight answer out of anyone in this world. Wait. You're being hunted? By whom? I don't know. Shadows. And ghosts. I think the others are gone. And I'm worried. All of them? I know the two dragons in Stark are gone, but what about the old one? The blue of the kin? He's silent. They're all silent. I can't feel them anymore. They've ceased to be. And I'm alone. Is it the Azadi? Who are the Azadi? Oh, yes. The humans you've taken up arms against to forget yourself. No. This enemy isn't mortal. You have no idea who this enemy is who hunts you? I feel it searching with dark eyes. Reaching out for me with sharp talons. 
It wants to eat me up. But why? Why would anyone want to kill the Dryad Kin? So that there's nothing left to challenge it. So that it can run free amongst mortals. So that it can devour, undisturbed. But don't worry about me. I'm safe here. It can't touch me now. I came here looking for answers. I need to speak with the Guardian. You have questions for him? Yes, about my... My future, I guess. You want to know if you're free from responsibility. Free to live your life. It's what all humans crave, isn't it? Freedom. And I understand why now. This body is so constricting. So small. So fragile. Soft and beautiful and pleasurable. But a prison for the soul. How did you know what I planned to ask the Guardian? Your worries weigh you down, big sister. Your heart's heavy. And your mind's a maelstrom. It pulls at me and everyone around you. You're unable to shift. I'm... Yeah. I've lost that ability. It's not something you can lose. Maybe you've just forgotten how. Well, it doesn't work anymore, and even if it did, I can't just open a shift into the Guardian's realm. Really? Why is that? Because that's not how it goes. I can't... I could shift between Stark and Arcadia, but it was a hell of a lot more difficult to go to that place. Everything's changed, and everything's still changing. But you're right. You can't do it on your own. This one needs to help you. What? Me? What could he possibly do? Thanks, April. I'm right here. Some respect, please. Like all living things, he has a purpose. This is his purpose. Or at least part of it. He's an important bird. I can help you open a shift, sister. But it can't be done without him. He must go with you. I'm not agreeing to anything unless someone tells me what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. You only need to be here, funny bird. You'll be fine. Close your eyes, April. What? Close your eyes. Don't argue. I get impatient. Fine. My eyes are closed. What now? Nothing. You've opened up a passage between worlds. Do you see how easy it is? What? How the hell did you do that? I didn't do much. As I said, you can't lose your talents, but you can forget them. I helped you remember. So I can shift again now? No. Not on your own. I don't know why. That's just the way it is. The portal will remain open on the other side, but it won't take you back here. It'll take you to Mercuria. Whatever answers the Guardian may have for you, and whatever your future holds, that's where you need to be. That's probably true. Well, I appreciate all your help. Take care, okay? Stay here and stay in that disguise. It suits you. This is the safest place. And there's so much knowledge here. So much wisdom. I never knew that the scribbled words of mortals could be so fascinating. Good luck, sister. Live well. You deserve it. You've earned it. Come on, Crow. I don't trust portals. They always lead to trouble. Go on, little one, funny bird. She needs you now. More than ever. Okay, okay. Lucky for you, I have a soft spot for pretty ladies. Coming through!